So what happens when you have androgenetic alopecia? What happens to the antigen phase and the telogen phase? Well, according to Layla Asfor, William Cranwell, and Rodney Sinclair in their article, Male Androgenetic Alopecia, its impact on hair growth phases, androgenetic alopecia notably alters the hair growth cycle, particularly affecting the antigen growth and telogen resting phases. The authors explain that the antigen phase is significantly shortened, inhibiting hair from reaching its full length and thickness, which decreases hair density. Simultaneously, there is an increase in the number of hairs entering the telogen phase prematurely, leading to a shift in the antigen to telogen ratio from approximately 12 to 1 to 5 to 1. This imbalance favors the telogen resting phase over the antigen growth and worsens the appearance of thinning hair. Additionally, the condition causes a stepwise miniaturization of the hair follicles, driven by dihydrotestosterone, also known as DHT. This process results in the follicles producing progressively finer and shorter hairs with each growth cycle. Over time, these hairs may fail to penetrate the skin's surface, leading to visible thinning and balding areas on the scalp. The authors emphasize that while treatments like minoxidil and finasteride can manage these symptoms, they require continuous use. So now that we have the description of what happens to the hair of people who have androgenetic alopecia, we need to understand what is going on in the antigen to telogen ratio. I'll need you to pay very close attention. If you have androgenetic alopecia, instead of your hair follicles on your scalp spending three to seven years in continuous growth, it may shorten this growth phase from years and eventually to months. The resting phase will then go from, say, three months to possibly to half of a year, or maybe even a year plus. And this phenomenon will happen progressively depending on how sensitive any hair follicle on the scalp is to DHT. If you have a severe form of androgenetic alopecia, in just one to two hair cycles, you could see extreme amounts of thinning across the scalp with long phases of telogen and short phases of antigen growth. 